Hello, it's Sarah. Today I'm going to do something a little different and I hope I post it <laughs> because I've been making videos and I haven't been posting them. Um, all right, I think the last video I posted was my, um, what's the name of it? Mindful Souls, my Mindful Souls subscription box. And I've been kind of, you know, on my spiritual journey, I've been researching crystals and finding out, I, I have a book on the chakra, and you guys all know that, right? Um, so, I decided also, I found, um, I watched some videos of crystal halls, and a lot of people told me that they get their some crystals at Home Goods and Marshalls and TJ Maxx and places like that. So the other day, I had to take Ginny, my dog, to the vet for grooming, and I decided to, to stop off along the way and check all the places that are around me. And so I have a little haul. Now, I'm not going to buy everything I see, especially because I can be compulsive like that. And as crafters, we've all been there where, you know, you get in the craft store and you think you have to have everything you see. And I did it in the beginning. Um, I, that's why my videos, I tend to say, use what you have. Because I know that you can get, you can still have a creative play and not have to break the bank. And I just worry because I know that it's time, right now it's kind of boring, we're in winter. Well, I'm in South Jersey. Anyway, I try to do that with all my shopping. I really, I rarely ever buy everything that's in my cart. I generally put back at least a few of the things, if not half the things, or if not all the things that are in the cart because I do not need anything. I don't need anything. I am perfectly happy with what I have. But that being said, I did pick up a few things. I just wanted to share them. Um, it's just fun. This is something I didn't expect to see, but we, I just got it. We're getting a new couch. Um, I do have two dogs. And when we got our couch, we didn't have dogs. And it seems that certain fabrics aren't the best when you have dogs. So anyway, got a new couch. It's not here yet, but I kind of felt a little... Um, like freshening up that room and the room that the couch is in it's all black furniture and I had made this uh, tray which you know it's all decoupaged and it's um, I forget the, the brand of paper but it's uh, I can think of it uh, it's anyway and I thought I wanted to replace it with something a little more natural seeing that I'm kind of into the crystals I'm feeling the vibe of nature of Mother Earth using natural f things in your home, like plants and things like that. So I went through a little phase of um, with the succulents, and I still have quite a few. Some of them have not gone so well, but I, have, I still have a lot of them, and they're doing well. Um, and then when I did the macrame, so I've kind of gotten back into, and the wood burning, it's wood, it's macrame, it's textile, right? So this is kind of, it's wickery and... Anyway, so I really liked it. I want to say this is the most expensive thing I got. It might have been around $16.99. I forget. It might have only been $12.99, but it's pretty big. It's a big, and this is where we put our remote controls and things like that um, on the coffee table so that, you know, you don't scratch up your coffee table. Um, and Joe liked it, and so I'm keeping it. Like, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it, but because all the furniture is black, I love that it had the black in it, too, to tie in. So I got that. Oh, I also got my nails, $3.99, and these are the stick-on kind without glue, and these have held on for, I mean, it's been, I want to say, five days that I've had these on. A couple hair washes and... You know, it's crazy, but my nails just looked so terrible. And these don't fit perfect. Like, so if I do close-ups in my videos, you'll be able to see my nail underneath. But I don't care. I, it looks better than my natural nails. So anyway, so that's number one. Then look at this. This is called a Himalayan, oh God, it's heavy. A Himalayan salt lamp. And this was $14.99. And I got two because I thought Maya might want one. She, however, did not show interest. So now I have two. 
Um, and I did wipe them down a little, but if you, I'm going to unplug something here to plug it in because it's cool. It has a, this one is a little more bright than the other one. I have two, the other one's a little taller and it has a lot more orange in it. And this one's just brighter, but like in the evening I put them on and it's just like a nice glow after like you turn all the lights off in the house kind of and it's I don't leave it on all night but what anyway so you can see and it has some sparkle and it is actually salt like I sh when I lick my finger it tastes salty so I don't know <clears throat> a lot of people have these when you see um uh, crystal shares and stuff like that and they're in the one rock store that I went to in the mall with my son when I got this bracelet I got a few things. I, got, I just got some tumbled stones. I spent a lot of money and I didn't get one of these there. And I think this was a better deal. So anyway, so I got two of those. And then I saw this. This was actually recently. I didn't get this on the same day. And this was $14.99. And it's a candle holder. But I think this is a terrarium. And at first I thought, well, I want to make a terrarium. I want to put like air plants in here and stuff like that. And I could put like little fairies or Buddhas or something. But then I thought, I'm just going to make a rock garden. And these are the two scores that I really did. Because I see people sharing their big pieces of um, amethyst and just um, quartz crystal. And they're very expensive. These Each of these were $14.99. They were both... Um, on the same day and the color is just really bright and I don't know that much about them to know if these are actually dyed. I don't think these are dyed because there were similar ones in the store like bookends and stuff and they just didn't look natural. It looked like they had been colored somehow and I know that you can heat the rock up and it does different things to it but I just thought these for the price I just wanted to st and I know amethyst has very good vibes and healing powers and stuff like that so this one is up in my room I keep this one up in my room um, and no this one okay wait wait this one I've been keeping in the okay I keep it in the middle of the tray this one I have put in here so I put this in here it fits and then when I went to TJ Maxx I found these I got three bags and on here it says chakra stones, gemstones from Brazil, and it tells you what they are. So clear crystal, amethyst, sodalite, rose quartz, citrine, carnelian, and black onyx. And they are, it was $5.99. And I bought two of these is all they had. And then I got this one, which I already took off the, and this is, I think, similar. This is just the raw form. This I know is rose quartz. This is crystal, regular clear quartz, amethyst. I want to say this is carnelian, but I don't know. Sodalite. So I think it's very similar to what's in here. Um, aventurine, probably. Um, and I made these. So this is called a chakra rock box. That's what I call it. So these I just bought because I just put these in here. So I like to put the the rose quartz in the front and the clear quartz and then just and the amethyst I put in the back because the whole thing is amethyst this is so cool I don't know if it's Jasper I think it said it see I think it's carnelian I think it's raw carnelian so see like here this is just polished um, but I just think regardless, they're beautiful. I feel like I'm not really focusing on the power of the crystals, their energy at the moment. I feel like their energy is, is just the vibe that I get is positive because I love them. So you know what I mean? Like I'm not, I don't know specifically. Look at this one. OMG. This has like frostiness to it and the blues and grays. It's just beautiful. And you can see it in polished form. So, um, yeah, I love them. I want to put that in the front. So anyway, so this goes in my room. And I thought I could put a plant there. Like I put, could put it. And I don't know if I'll fill it up more. I'm taking my time. That's the other thing. I realized I don't need to rush the process. 
So this was another bag, just like this one, and it's called Chakra Stones, but I call it my Chakra Rock Box, and I made this. I went to um, Hobby Lobby, and I got several boxes. I just felt like doing some boxes, and I think the next video I do, I'm going to um, be painting similar one of these. All right, the other thing, I, oh, here it is. Let's see what this says. Healing Stones. So these are the ones that I showed you in here. Quartz, Rose Quartz, Green Adventurine, Blue Quartz. So this is Blue Quartz. Um, red Jasper. So this is Jasper. Amethyst and Orange Calcite. So it, they actually, it's so cool that it like, and it was $5.99, so it tells you. So I'm going to put it in there. And it tells you the healing properties and everything. So just FYI, if you're going to get a few rocks to start a collection, because I'm a collector, I've always collected things, I'm trying to be patient because I am now subscribing to the um, Mindful Souls, and it should be coming again, this, my second box, because it's February. Um, and I got some really cool things in there, you know, um, some things I don't need, you know, but I can gift them to other people. I got this. Like, I can probably put these in my altar, you know, this little, um, I can add it to my crafting, this little lotus charm. Um, all right, or, uh, so, but I really want to get the gems because they do give you gems, and I have it upstairs. It was a tower thing. So anyway, and then I got this from Big Lots, which was $6, and again, just to add in, the room that I'm talking about that uh, we got the couch for has a lot of windows and there's not a lot of wall space. So you can't really hang anything on the walls. There's six windows in this room. It was actually, anyway, it's an addition that we put on. And so this I just thought, and this, my little Buddha guy. And I think it's a Buddha. Um, and it just had, these are fake um, succulents, so I don't have to worry about them dying. But I just thought this would add a little warmth. They're kind of small. They're just subtle. Um, and I just, they called out to me. There was a couple other, there was like a, um, an orchid as well that I almost got. And I probably will at some point because um, I don't, I kill orchids too. I don't do good with orchids. But anyway, so that's it. That's my little haul. Um, yeah, I want to just bring this big guy back in. This, this was a... Uh, $14.99 and they did have a piece of clear quartz that was much bigger and it was $80 and I didn't get it and there were some after that I saw videos where there were bigger people did get them and they said that you could never find that quality of a piece as big and as you know pretty for that price at a gem store say or something like that so um, I might pick one up next time. I'm really not trying to spend that much money. I'd like to find it for a bargain. Um, but it, it definitely quenched my thirst for, um, I was really getting, we call it, me and my son call it fiending. I was fiending. I was like, I got to go. Um, for gem, gem hunting because uh, about an hour for me, there are a couple of big, big gem stores that I was going to go to, but this, this quenched my, my desire. Um, so I was able to pick these up for a very cheap price. And, um, I will just, this year, I will just get my mindful souls boxes and just whatever I find. Like if I happen to go back to, um, home goods and they have one for a reasonable price. I mean, I have enough uh, amethyst right now. I'd like to find something else. I'd like to find some citrine or some other, um, type of pretty rock so that's it you guys um i'll be back i want to share some other things that i've been doing in the craft room with you guys oops not even in the shot <laughs> thanks for watching